Okay, while I'm uploading the other episode, let's continue where we left off with the way the ship teleported is wonderful. So we go to the base terminus, terminal, and you see the red and white with the science symbol. That's a Corvax. So rather than go into outer space and use the X and use um, fuel, we can just use the teleporter. So it's good if you have a Corvax system on your teleport options so that you could go to uh, that without having to waste any fuel. So it's good to have a Corvax and it's good to have a GEX system on your space stations. See the science symbol? Because you made the science terminal, you can hire him. Entity Kazagutai. Unknown life form, I passed my test. Phew, I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base? A science terminal? Think of all that might be done. The Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to just have completed some rite of passage for their species, necessitating them to go out into the universe and pursue their interests. The scientist offers to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. And because we made the science terminal, we can hire the scientist. Entity Kazagutai says, You, think not of payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be reward enough. That's kind of spooky if you ask me. Okay. Now the quest on the right says return to the scientist. Use the space station teleport to quickly return to your base. So we will do that. We'll teleport back to our base. Now you know that other base I made, I'll be deleting, I'll be deleting that. At least that's the plan. So what I want to do is get some salvage data, be able to build the prefabricated hallway uh, so that I can expand my base further. Shogawa system, which I discovered. Entity Kazagutai. A fine base traveler, as of course befits your honorable status. Oh, Corvax sh shall be so happy here. The Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem able to contain them. Uh, what should I do? You think I should request aid or just say welcome? I'll request aid, see what he does. It, usually the first option is the one, the best one. Honor, to witness the monolith of the traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax contribute. Take these blueprints. Lubricant and acid, liquids close to Corvax hearts. 
I don't know what to do with those, beside maybe sell them. Scientific research returned to the scientist. Your scientist awaits at the terminal. Traveler, harvest marrow bulb and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you are gone. The Corvax is desperate to please, sharing me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me travelers are to be honored, raised above all others. What have I done to earn such esteem? The scientist requires marrow bulb and cobalt, materials found underground. They will be able to use this substance to craft blueprints for microprocessors and advanced refiners. I'll accept. Joy, our home will be light and our windows will be clean, says Entity Kazagutai. Now let's do this. Let me switch to expanding the base. That's search an abandoned building for data. And while when I go to the expanded building, I'll keep my eye open for a cave to get the marrow bulb and the cobalt. Another ion battery. And we received Shall we try that unknown building and then see what the computer tells us? We'll go there. While we're here, we need an Atlas Pass. So let's keep that in mind. Now this would certainly fit the abandoned building requirement. I had to switch it back to uh, the abandoned building. So E. I'm going to dispose of this as my inventory is getting full. User identified terminal active accessing schematics. The place the overseer has led me to has long since fallen into disrepair. Its panels are buried beneath the same oily, pulsating fauna I have seen before in long abandoned buildings. The air is fetid and damp. I power up the terminal with little hope of success, but to my surprise, it buzzes noisily and springs to life. I analyze the schematics. My overseer's intuition has served me well so far. I shall have to trust that these schematics contain the required data. C 
see if there's anything else we can get while we're here. Can always use more ion batteries. Using the F key to see if there's any, there's a salvation, and I'll build technology, 233. If you don't mind if I run out after the technology module. Uh, 226. I'll also grab ferrite and dihydrogen. get rid of this that opens up a spot and we need to go back to our ship and use its inventory oh, that'll also save the game for us and I'll use the dioxide to refill the um, so we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine slots there. Um, we can use the dioxide. Let me throw the navigation data there. The glass, I don't expect to need that or get any. The Gecknip, I don't expect to get any new. And um, chromatic metal. Okay, that should open up some spots. Now, where was the... It was somewhere this way, wasn't it? Oh, you see that thing above the ground there, people? That is our buried technology module, which is not quite buried. The game does that sometimes. So we'll take that. Here's one. Let's get at least one more. Journey Milestone Nomad traveled 40 KS. Let's see if this buried technology module is buried. Okay, we have the ion batteries and we also have the ferrite. So we are not as concerned. All right, I'm not quite happy about that. 
Why is he following me? That guy attacked me. The toxic plant caused me some damage. There's a lot of sodium here. I don't think they bother you if you use the E key. I think they care if you use the um, laser. We'll refill that with dioxide. G to terrain manipulator. I don't believe they'll bother us if we're using the terrain manipulator. There's some salvage data. If you can't get out, you can either use the pack or you can shoot a more narrow a more narrow way. Another buried technology. E on the run. That big thing walking there is kind of cute. You can make these animals your pets, feeding them pellets. Grabbing inventory things that I think I'll need on the run. Uh, G to terrain manipulator. Notice it stopped going down. I'll refill that. Seven salvage data. I think that should be enough. Now you can call your plane. I'd rather use the ion battery than launch fuel. That's just me. Get a little bit more dioxide to refill the... All right, goodbye. I stopped. Notice the message said drones uh, will attack if you continue mining while in their sight.
the dihydrogen and the ferrite are also to make launch fuel as the ferrite is used to make a metal plate that will, with the dihydrogen, make the launch fuel. Oh, did I save the location? We'll get a navigation data, save and chart. And we got nanites. We can move the navigation data to the one that we have on the starship. Now, our launch thrusters, notice they're at zero. Also want to get the plans for a launch pad. Using the dioxide opens up a little bit. See, I got the symbol, the overseer. A little bit of a trick going up the steps like that. Okay, sales get Jacopi. You are back. I'm so glad, friend. I will extract the storage blueprint as soon as I have the data. It is good to see the Gek is so invested in the success of our home. They are clearly happy to see me, energized for the task at hand. Give data. Here is your blueprint as promised. A trivial task, their code was just sitting there to be manipulated. And uh, I have a lot of storage containers I can make I'll need room for that and power. I should let the GEC get on with their business. Leave. All right, let's go to um, let's teleport to this system space station. Current system. I don't know why it still says con Apollo's contact, as I think his contact is at my base now. What I'm going to do now is um, give myself launch fuel. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then... Um, I'm going to pull out the um, anomaly and get a blueprint there. I'll sell the rusted metal here. It'll clear a little space as well. Salt. Rusted metal. For the multi tool, I will refill the terrain manipulator and the mining beam. Shift key to go quickly. Now, I don't think you need launch fuel leaving pads like this. But nonetheless, I know I'm empty, so I need a metal plate, and then with the dihydrogen of 40, I make launch fuel. Fuel. So it's 50 ferrite, I believe, to make the metal plate, and 40 dihydrogen gives us the launch fuel. So that goes into thrusters. Then if I take off...
click Z uh, X arrow left and F to make the anomaly appear. Now I'll need more space at the base to take advantage of those containers. And if I'm going to be on that cold world, I'll want more ion batteries and more shields. So E, I've got seven salvage data. You see the straight corridor here is five. I definitely need the corridor to connect my buildings. Now I have two salvage data. This access ramp. And uh, I'll get the climb ladder as well. Okay. Now, to return to the base, um, the other way, we'll go using the teleport on the anomaly. And this way, uh, I, if you look at the starship, the launch thruster is still 100% because we're using the teleports instead of uh, flying. Saves fuel. Okay, your bases. I'll be deleting this base. I explained why in the other episode. Now I'm going to use that other ramp, I think. That will be better than the wood steps that I'm using. I will make the tunnel and then we will continue and I'll make the next room. And I'll show you that and then in the next episode we'll continue on the quest line. So, uh We'll put the refiner down. Add oxygen to the life support. As I said, I bought some oxygen in another area. I have 500 ferrite here and 250 here. So I'll put the 250 and begin that. While that's cooking in the refiner, let's see if we can get some alternative steps here. So the access ramp, let's see if that works. Oh, come on. Well, at least it'll be easier to jump on the ramp. Okay. Maybe we need a second ramp here. Yep. They connected. You notice that? 
All right, now this is good. So we'll be able to move those steps. Nice. All right, we fixed that problem. Now here, straight corridor. Now let's get our 250. I love the way they land the planes on this from the teleporting. Our pure ferrite. And we'll pick the refiner back up. So we'll move those steps later. And we'll add a room here. Now look at look at what we did. We got the ramp. It automatically makes a doorway. And now we have space to expand into, uh, for example, uh, to build storage units. Now, I will want to start using square rooms at some point. But we, we kind of scrunch these guys next to each other. Uh, the overseer seer weights, we'll do that in another episode. Also want to put a save beacon down. So if I lose the game again, that won't be a problem. Thank you for watching.